Okay, so let's get stuck in. We're here in Widget Box, and I'm doing a search for Technorati so we can find the Technorati widget because I think it's a really great, really useful one. So when we found what we're looking for in the search, we just click on Try Out over here, and that brings up a dialog where we can customize the widget. In this case, we can change the name. Now, the name's not that important. It's only something that's going to appear in the back end. So unless you've got numerous widgets, you can leave that set to default. The width and height are important because obviously you can customize those to fit the size of your blog. So that's really nice. And the tag and topic are really important. This is what we're going to be searching for using the tool. In this case, we're using web widgets. When you're happy with that, have a look over on the right and you can see a live preview of exactly what it's going to look like when it's in your web page. Everything's looking good, so we go over here and click on Get Widget, which opens up our dialog box. Now, when we're using Widget Box, we're talking about panels. You embed your widgets into little panels, which in turn are embedded into your blog. This can be a bit confusing at first. What are this panel business all about? I'm looking for widgets. Once you've done it once, it gets a lot easier. So in the first instance, we're going to create a new panel. That gives us an option of where do we want to install that panel, is it going to be on a type pad or a blogger or a MySpace? Any of the social networks or the particular type of blog you're using. In this case, we're using movable type. Now, what this does now is gives you full instructions of what you need to do, which we can ignore for now because it's really very simple. All you have to do is copy and paste this code, and we're now going to take the code over and dump that into our blog post. Now, remember that you could also put that in the sidebar or somewhere else in the template. It doesn't have to be in the post. Here we are in movable type, and I have got an empty post here. So what I'm going to do is just very quickly cut and paste, paste it into my blog post, and there it is. That's the code I need to get that widget into my blog post. Very, very straightforward. If I go over to the preview, I can now check out exactly what it looks like in my post. So as we expected, here it is, here's Technorati Mini, looks just like it did in the preview before, and that's fully functional, ready to go. I can publish that straight away. So let's check out the Google alternative. So here we are back at Google HQ, Google Gadgets uh, for your web page. And you can see all of the different thumbnails. Now, we've decided today that we're going to use the Wikipedia gadget because very often we link to Wikipedia from within our articles. Wouldn't it be great to be able to give your users the possibility to check something out that maybe they've read in your blog and then go to Wikipedia and find out about it? So we click Add to your web page and that opens this dialog. Now, here we've got some nice options. For instance, if you drag the bottom right corner, you can resize it in real time as to exactly the size that you want it on your blog. That's a nice little feature. Of course, you can change that just by using the uh, width and height if you want to enter the pixel dimensions. You can also add a little uh, frame for them, or no frame at all, which is what I often choose. Now this is really easy, you click on get the code, and when you've clicked that, there it is, it appears down the bottom, so a little bit more straightforward even than widget box. Copy that code and then we're going to take that over to the blog and that's it, you're ready to go. So Google do make it very very easy. Here we are back in our post, paste that into the body of the text and then maybe you decide you're going to write a brief entry around them. Now remember that you can put this right in between the text, you can put as many as you like around the text. So I'm just saying here you could check out the Wikipedia about the same subject um, to give someone further information. This might be something that you put at the end of a blog post. So as you can see, it couldn't be easier. Here it is in the preview mode, this is what it's going to look like. So that could be at the end of your article or even at the beginning, wherever you wanted to place it, and with any number of other Google gadgets. Very, very straightforward. So there's really nothing to be afraid about about putting widgets in your blog. Get out there and get widgeting!